Sorry. All right, we're on. Tell me when it's rolling. It's on. We're on. That's what we're on means. Wobble up, dub, dub. Help. Remember, remember when I cemented that catchphrase into our, into our, into our, into our shit? You know? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, everybody! You're watching Crowman Seventeen again. Thanks for tuning in. We're gonna do another episode of Crowman Reads Comics with Alex Gold. Yeah, Mr. Gold, not Alex, Alex Jones. Uh, Mr. Gold. Mr. Gold of San Jose. Mr. Gold of S. -G. Let me just give you my fucking address while you're at it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. So we're going to read some more comments from just a lot of my videos. And maybe if uh, you left my some comments and you want to see me read them, then this is your chance. Okay, so this is even easier for me because I could just read the video that it was comment. I'm going to read the video that it was that uh, the comment was made on. I'm going to say who... Let me just take a second to ad to admire how fucking cool you are by reading this shit because this is really great. I did, like if I comment on your shit, that's fucking awesome that you acknowledge it because YouTube is a small place. I like it. Thanks, thanks. Actually, was worth that. Uh, I like that interruption. <laughs> Almost no. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank, yeah. All right. Okay. So let's see here. Read these comments already. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go ahead and read some more. Would you like a beer, my my good old pal? Yeah, go ahead and grab me one. Thank you. Sorry. Can you just hold my dog while I go get it? That's all I ask. All right. I'm actually gonna take a piss while I'm going. Okay. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! guys, this video is sponsored by Coors Light. So I don't know if this is... No, it's not. It's Paps Blue Ribbon. Paps Red, White, and Blue Ribbon. Um, so I don't know if this person's name is Anna E. Or if this person's name is Dominic. But, um... I want to say that... Okay, yeah, um... So I just started my YouTube video from just, uh, I started it up and I didn't actually start uploading videos for probably about three or four, maybe five months after I started mine because I didn't really have any way of uploading videos. And then one day when I got this, this iPhone 6, it already came with the option if you had a YouTube account to just start uploading videos. And that's when I first started doing videos, um, recording videos is when I went to the Donald Trump rally in San Jose and I got all that on my iPhone 6s. It was okay footage, and it worked for a while. It actually is not bad. The phone's not that bad. By the way, I just want to make a quick comment. You know the stupidest idea is to put the charging port. You could put it anywhere on the phone. Do not, do not, do not put the charging port on the bottom of the fucking phone. And you got to put a cover back on it. It's the worst place. People used to know that. People don't know that anymore. Anyways. Yes, I would start with your phone. Start Get an iPhone if you can afford it, and that's a good place to start. And you start making videos, um, and eventually you get to what I'm recording on right now. It's a $600 Canon. Uh, but when it gets when you get there, you'll be happy, and people will like your content. I don't really make a lot of money on my on my uh, channel, really, yet. I, I, I'm just, I'm really just dumping everything I, I can into this. Nobody has given me any donations since I started my channel. I'm doing this all out of my own pocket. I've asked for some, oh, but you know, to be it. honest, in my own heart, I, I feel just fine that nobody's given me anything. I'm Same here. Like, I, I'm his wingman. Like, I come here with, like, the things I have at home, and I try to make him stuff out of it, but now, I, I see where it's going. It's going in the upwards direction, which is the good direction, and... Now I'm gonna put my money on the line, which is what he's doing. He he he's doing the the thing that people like doing when they support their own shit. Like if you, it, how how should I put this in words? Like like whatever he says, like it's not some some shit, you know. It, it, he, he whatever he says is from his heart. Like he he means it, and he. He endorses what he says, like the white power. No, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're no. funny. <laughs> you're funny. Keep at it with them jokes, but like seriously, um, man, <laughs> you, you're honest with what you have to say. I I try to be, you know. It it really is a tough thing to just get over people liking you or not liking you. 
it's it, your best it, wing in my opinion it is immoral to want people to like you but it's also natural anyways moving on yeah it, I agree like if you want someone if you want one specific person to like you you probably would do whatever it takes to get them to like you and you probably will eventually get them to like you but if you want to be yourself the real people who like you will, will find their way to like you yeah no. Okay, so um, so this is a video I posted uh, from San Jose Dump, where there was a bunch of hogs running around. You can actually get pretty close to them, but if you approach them, they will run away. If you go to later in the day and you see them, they just run away from you. It's kind of weird. Wait, who? Wild boars Wild? running around in San Jose up in the hills at the dump. Wait, where in the hills? Like the east side hills? Uh, south side. South side hills. Oh. Uh, but someone says, uh, hey, Chroman, I love your video. I know this is marked as spam. It's because it contains a link. Uh, the computer's dead. But please check it out. I will check out that video. Okay, that was from the Seahawks. Interview with Chroman from Berkeley Freedom of Speech. Please check out that video. A friend of mine went through a lot of hard work to make it. Uh, Bob Monk 388 says, spot on, sir. Keep up the fight. Thank you. Almost done. Uh, Chase eats her first live locust. Someone said, oh, that was you. <laughs> Would you breed the crow? Fuck oh. you. Get off my channel. Quit leaving comments on my shit. You're talking to me, but into the camera. <laughs> that means eventually I'm going to watch this video and be like, fuck. <laughs> you're talking to me. Okay, you're going, you want to do a couple. So in two directions, you're talking to me. That's... <laughs> It's too much for me to oh, comprehend. Oh, he's right here. My bad. I <laughs> thought you were there. <laughs> you are right there. But what are you doing here? Shut yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me make sure this is still going. Yeah, all right. Here, you want to... Shut up. Go ahead. <laughs> all right, well, well, what is the next one I should read? Right here at the top. Uh, I'll put it at the top for you. Go. All right. It says, it says, two, oh, two. This is a specific time in the video. So, it says. Nate, what's he, the name of the video? No, no, I don't know. It says, right the stretch, the long arm of the law, put Antifa in the ground. Fuck. Oh, uh, anyways. It says, Who said two it? minutes and two seconds. This is a very specific time in the video, so I can't really tell what he's talking about. Um. It says, is he blonde guy who was near the famous punch to the... Let me skip that, because I don't know what no, the okay, fuck okay, he's okay. talking about. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just don't know what he's talking about. Okay, <clears throat> on the video, he's stretch... About, the he's talking about a specific time, you know? On the video, stretch the long arm of the law, put Antifa in the ground, and Yonimo Bolinga. Bolinga, I don't know. See, see what I mean? Like My apologies if I mispronounce some of these names. I'm, I'm a... Not good at that. Anyways, it says Same. at 202 in the video, uh, he is the blonde guy who was near the famous punch to Moldy Locks. Moldy whatever he says. Which is wrong. Antifa girl, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. He I think he wants to know. No, I did not see that guy in my video. I don't think I ever walked past him. Um, I don't I don't know much about him, but I guess he does kinda have some ties to white supremacy. It's too bad. We need some people who aren't afraid to punch uh, Real Nazis in the face who me, aren't me have, uh, don't have me any ties and him. to him. We are sports. warriors for the fucking right cause. Like ah, uh, maybe you. I don't know about me. Well, me I'm a like, warrior with money. You're a warrior. You're the money. I'm the warrior. That's <laughs> you give me beers. I'll fight for you. <laughs> oh, someone. Oh, please check out this video. This is a really great video. It's my buddy, Vietnam veteran, good old Jim Mackey. Uh, oh my God! Okay, I'm done laughing. <laughs> Okay, like Tim, okay, so Jim Mackey is a really great person, so please give it a like if you like that video. Yeah, I'll give him a like. I give him a fucking heart. He's a great person. You know, he's one of my best friends. He fought in Vietnam. He is a he decorated is, war veteran. He, he is also, my hero. He's yeah. like my second dad, who let me oh, drink alcohol. Nice. Like, is it really is it really crooked? It was, but it looked okay, like you're doing you. it on purpose. But yeah, he's like my second dad. Like I'm, I'm not even shit. like like okay like I have a dad and he's really good. But like, if I were to think of like a second dad, like that'd be Jim. That'd be Mackie. 
Mackie, we call him Mackie, yeah. Um, check out his Facebook page, Jim Mackie. Anyways, um, on the Memorial Day World War II plane rides of the Bay Area, uh, Starter Spencer said it is a B-17 flying out of Livermore. Wait, what? Thanks for the information. It was a Memorial Day. Uh, here in the Bay Area, we have, during the Memorial Day week, there are they fly all these World War II planes around the Bay Area. You can actually fly on one of these things. Yeah. And the, the bigger ones, I think it's about $300 for a ride, and then you can actually fly in one of the fighters for, like, a lot more than that. It is pretty expensive. But, uh, um, I wouldn't mind paying $300 for that. That would be a great fucking investment. A I person. would love to fucking fly in one of those. feel like one of those World War II for fighters. Yeah. So if you don't already know, I'm also a nerd, and yeah, I go to Fanime, and um, sometimes people do Same. ask. Actually, for the first time, people, uh, this year was the first time people asked me if I was cosplaying. I've never been asked if I was cosplaying. No, that's not true. One time I was asked if I was cosplaying. Usually I don't get asked if I'm cosplaying, because I just go, I wear my hat, I wear my tuxedo. Okay, but um, I've kind of made more of an image for myself now, and I guess people are asking yeah. a little bit more. On the video, uh, stretch long arm of the law. Put Antifa in, Antifa in the ground. Richard Cerullo says, "Great song, love it. Thank you. I also love that song. That was really what I was feeling after I came back from the Mojave. We, I played that song a few times out there, and it just really made me think that this song, this song, just speaks to this movement about what we're doing. How we just we meet up." Of us and our boys, ready to fight, ready to put our lives and bodies on the line. And then afterwards, what do we do? We go meet up at the local saloon. Yeah, wait, well, let, me cut, let me cut you off for a second. Like, what you said before, like, about your image. Like, I've been thinking about that. I've been trying to work, personally, I've been trying to work on being ready for San Francisco, which is our next event. Okay. But you, you you're already ready for this shit, but, like, you're ready for your image. You've been working on your image for how long? Like, I don't even know. Well, like, there's a story behind that. Okay. I well, was first called Crow Man when I was in high school. Okay, so it started in high school, but like, when did you start like dressing up for yourself, you know, like to represent, you know, yourself, your your name, to give your name a, a face and figure, you know, a, a fucking an outfit for your name. Well, you we're going to turn this into a, a, an interview on me just for a moment. Yeah. Um, because I had already graduated, I bought my first tuxedo, I guess about a year after I graduated out of high school, um, first time I wore it to an event, uh, it would be Rock Age 2.0. In San Jose. Suit and tie and everything? Suit and tie and everything. Did you have your hat too? Or were you without your hat? Did not. I don't think I had my hat. I'm not I can't remember. It was a while ago. I can't remember. I don't think I had this hat. If anything, I didn't have this hat. But eventually, once I got this hat, um, it, it all kind of started coming together. What? We should do a different video for this. We'll get more more detail about what about My this some other time. My point being is that like this is supposed to be a comment video. Now yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't video, mean to like I don't mean to you know to take the tracks and change it. You know, like to make this a different video. But like what I'm trying to say is like you work on your image a lot, and I've been working like lately. I've been working on my armor, and you know it's it's a really weird mix. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Go on. I'm sorry. Anyways, we will do um, an interview of me someday about not not really how I feel about uh, Trump and po politics, but maybe just about me. We'll get somebody to do that. Not going to say any names, Justin. Justin? <laughs> comma, Justin. <laughs> okay, um, back to the recording comments. still? Because I, I have fear. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that, like, every now and then. Sorry, I, I have fear now. <laughs> yeah, okay, anyways. Okay, um... This was a good good one. This happened right in front of me when we went to the, the first Battle of Berkeley. 
So I posted a oh. video. Try it's called. Oh, they tried to build a wall but got plowed over by based stick man. He was right in front of me, and they tried to just block the street Dude. literally by locking arms. And base stick man was one of the first people in front. As soon as he saw that they were trying to do this, he just charged. And then some fatty tried to get in the way and stop him. He just got toppled fatty. over like boom. He hit the ground, and I could hear this guy wheeling like squealing like a pig. He was like, Aah! Aah! he listened to the video. I'm sorry I did that, but you can hear him. <laughs> I'm going to put that on. I'm sure I look like a fool. <laughs> he hit the ground pretty hard. It was a good video. <laughs> but yeah, Chris Black says they should make camps for Antifa. Yeah, camp low IQ. <laughs> In the video uh, in Berkeley, Base Stickman takes ch charge and control. Uh, Roger Cloud says, Great job, uh, Captain America, Base Stickman. What happened to Lauren Southern? Thought she was a patriot. She is a patriot. She was there. I got a picture with her. Yeah, she's hot. Yeah. Oh, this is a great video. I, got, I could not believe, well, I could believe that this one kind of went viral. Um, Kirk Hanger uh, from uh, Just Check It Out Berkeley. It's this crazy old lady just going off at me. Says, a good majority of the teachers in the United States today are a big part of the problem. There is one opinion, and that's, it sounds like the definition of being a bigot to me. In life, we have something called the law. If you break <laughs> the law, you're wrong. There is a wrong and right in life. If you came into the country the wrong way, you broke the law. Can't disagree with you there. It's pretty clear. It's pretty clear. You are an illegal alien even if you even if your parents brought you here when you were too young to know you're a bitch. Like literally. You <laughs> This is things you learn on your own. This is generational things like like th these are the things you to you don't get taught by your parents. You, like fucking smoking weed for the first time, your parents don't teach you. Oh, this is how you roll a joint. <laughs> like fucking, this is how you pack a bowl. This is how you this pop is, a top off a beer. This is how you open a beer. <laughs> this is how you light a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> this is the things you're fucking. Give me that. That's your right. brother, your friend t teaches you. You, some, you learn this shit on your own. This is your instinct, your human, your your modern day human instinct. Like, your your family might teach you how to get behind the wheel to drive, but really, when you're on the freeway by yourself getting to work, and someone cuts you off, you flip them off. Not because your parents taught you how. But you, because you you learned that you know you're fucking you're fed up with this shit. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Make sure. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing a couple more, and then we're gonna end this. All right. So this is what someone actually said a while back in one of my other videos. I couldn't disagree more, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> oh, I love this. What's going on? Question mark. Bikers for Trump. Berkeley. I couldn't believe that this one. I can't believe that it actually got that many views. I don't understand it at all. Really, not much happened in the video. <clears throat> Hmm. I think he's got like he's got like twenty thousand views or something. But anyways, someone said, "Why is the bikers? Yes, why is the bikers doing the cops' job? I don't know about you, but I don't want to have to call bikers if I'm in trouble. Well, I don't want to call a bunch of sissies if I'm in trouble. If uh, I'm in trouble, I want the people who show up to help me to be tough people." And sometimes the they are bikers. Yeah, bikers. In, in are this awesome. case, right now, they're bikers. We haven't had bikers defending us since the '60s. You remember the Hell's Angels? Yeah, Hell's Angels. Okay, like to be real, bike. The, the Hell's Angels did, the, you know, things that are probably you know bad. But in hindsight, they they helped us. They helped the hippies who took over, and now our city's being run I mean, by hippies. But the bikers, nowadays, the bikers' hearts were in the right place, and I tell you, the bikers' yeah. hearts are still in the right I place love today. The bikers. They thought they were fighting for what they believed was right at the time, and right now they're fighting for what they believe is when, right at this time. When too. I go to rallies nowadays, okay, the police. Are, I love to see the police there, but like 
The people I hope to see there are the people that are like the bikers, the people that are I armored the, up, the people that are ready to I, protect us. You exactly. Know? I want to see the people who are there to protect us. And unfortunately, all too often, the, the police aren't always, there to protect though. us. Yeah, yeah. The, especially bike, the, the some... Berkeley thing. You know, remember Berkeley, yeah. the first bu the Berkeley I went to with you? Like, the police weren't fucking there. They're like, all right, fuck it. You know, they're, they're their own kids. They, they, they do their own thing. You know, they, the police, they shouldn't have done that. I'm glad the bikers were there. I'm glad everyone was armored up, ready to fucking win Berkeley. It was I'm a beautiful sight, huh? Oh, someone just left a comment just now, so let's see. Uh, you oh. either have seen shit or you haven't seen shit. Oh. Okay, Daniel Myers replied again. You either haven't, you either <sighs> haven't seen shit or aren't capable of processing basic facts. Let then. me read this because I can read this fast and shit talk them faster than. All right, I'm gonna I just go read. straight to this comment to see who this is. I can. Sh I don't know if he's good or bad. I'm drunk. I wanna express my love to Trump. Oh, Justin, this is a reply to your. Uh, your comment, did you talk to Kyle about this? Ever figure out what happened? Okay, he replied to you. He said, you either haven't seen shit or aren't capable of producing <coughs> basic facts. Then I don't know what he's talking about, actually. It's kind of confusing. Let me see. Let me see. Where is it pointed? This one right here. The, the wait, comment wait, wait. that you're I'm looking sorry. at. sorry. this, you need a, you all replies, because there's a conversation that you're missing. Yeah. That you might be missing out on. Fuck. I'm obviously drunk. That's my character. I'm sorry if that might not be what you approve of, but like being drunk is what helps me talk about what I don't usually talk about, and that's Trump. <sighs> I don't know about that, but anyways. No, that's a personal thing. Like, uh, you might think otherwise, but like, just don't make it a habit, right? I'm losing too many friends to alcoholism. That's not a joke. No, 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 I'm not. I only drink alcohol when I'm with you. Or Joey. Joey, I never with Joey. Like the last time I was, I was with Joey was when I was in Santa Cruz, and the time I was before that I can't even remember. Joey's always busy doing Panda Express shit. I'm sorry, I spit here. It's just I, it's just it builds up, and I don't know. Where okay, yeah, okay, I get it. Yeah, so this guy is. Is it filming? Yeah. Okay. So this guy D is. Um, He's replying to to uh, Jerry Metz, I think, and I think he is in defense of based stick man, saying you either haven't seen shit or aren't capable of processing basic facts. Then, yeah, I do want to see the video. I haven't seen it yet, and a lot of these arguments seem to go both ways. That uh, it was Kyle's fault. Oh no, it was it was um, what's his name's fault? Um, God damn it, what was his name? Kyle, David. David. And some people are saying it's Kyle's fault. Some people are saying it's David's fault. I only have David's side of the story, but you saw my video. Right? I, I, in my video, I asked him straight up, was it you who was saying that Kyle was a white nationalist? He didn't answer the question. Everyone was waiting around, waiting for him to answer the question. Everyone went quiet. Where's the answer? Okay, I'm not, I'm not against him at all, but I would have liked kind of a more straighter answer. The explanation, his explanation of what happened was just so vague. It's hard to make yeah. out. That's a red flag, dude. When it becomes vague, like, okay, let's put this in perspective. Like, say someone is accusing you of, like, let's say rape. And the accuser gives you, like, a story with a bunch of holes in it. Like, they only tell you, like, a minute of what happened. And then you come up as the assailant and you tell them the full story. And uh, the, the parts that the, the, the person who accused you... They, they come out, they fit perfectly in your story. You know, you, I don't know how to put it to words, though. But I like, get yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. He, he paused, you know. He knew he was fucking... He knew he couldn't say something that would have helped him. Or at least he paused for some reason. He, he, he hesitated. He hesitated, yeah. I think That's there's... The I don't know. Like I said, my opinion... I think that there are faults on both sides. It sounds to me, this is just my opinion, what it seems like to me, what I'm speculating, it looks like he was talking shit about Kyle behind his back. It sounds like what Kyle said about himself is true. He's not a perfect person. Might be a little bit further from perfect than he might have even put himself at. I don't know what a white nationalist is. Um, 
the first person I told that to, I'm not going to say who, nobody you know, nobody you know, but actually said white nationalist. And this person is not a racist. What's wrong with white nationalism? So I really want to get someone's opinion. I'm not going to Google white nationalism because Google is a very biased, left-wing, suppressive piece of shit. So all certain things I will not Google. Leave me a comment. Tell me what white nationalism is and if what, what, what is exactly is bad about it. Because I'm thinking Asia, most of those countries are probably Asian nationalists. Probably in Africa, most of those countries nationalism. are... I'm just kidding. I'm not being serious. I'm being joking. Yeah. You get what I'm saying. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but anyways, this is, uh, it's time for us to go. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. I'm Crowman17. Mr. Gold. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Please be at the next rally. We'll see you there at, um, San Francisco. Tell me the date. August 26th. And Berkeley, the very next day, if August 27th. you want to see us too, you would see a guy about yay high in a good old hat. Me and I'm not wearing Look for this hat. two fags and a cowboy's hat. No, no, he's probably gonna wear his hat. He told me numerous times. But I'm gonna wear. Bad. I'm gonna wear a new hat. This is not. This is my real. I love you for this hat, but um, the hat I'm gonna wear is gonna be a, a MAGA hat, Make America Great Again hat, but it's gonna be green with yellow lettering, and I'm gonna be in a bunch of armor. I'm gonna. Be, I'm gonna be protecting my nigga right here, my my homie, my 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 good Whoever. old partner. It's and gonna happen. Yeah, dude. It's it's gonna be happening and you're gonna comment on this shit or I'm gonna find you. Seriously, you know what? San Francisco is a sleaze hole. Is see my video, we almost got mugged in San Francisco. Yeah. We almost got jumped out of outside of a, you a need restaurant. A GoPro. You need a GoPro, like Oh, like, I wanted to go live so bad, but I didn't no, think no, about no. it till after. Listen to me though, you need a GoPro. Like something. Just for you can wearing hide. Trump gear. You need to like get a GoPro that you can hide, or like sunglasses that have a camera right here. Like, see the the nose bridge. You need a ca like they, they sell cameras. We'll talk about this later. And shit like that. You need one of those. Be sure to check me out again. We um we have a uh, face my Facebook page. Please check out my Facebook page, Crowman Seventeen. I also have a Instagram page. Say re. Huh? Re. Re. <laughs> re. Uh, also check out my Facebook page, uh, Chrome, okay. I have a Facebook page, Chroman17, and my Instagram, Chroman underscore 17. Also on Facebook, Chroman check 17. out the uh, Stalin Squad meme regime. Great Stalin Squad. Okay, I run that shit, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna make a little ad on that. Stalin Squad, Mach Three, the meme regime. I'm gonna say it one more time. Mach Three. Stalin Squad, Mach Three, the meme, meme regime. regime. Re <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> We're done.